Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Harvest December. This time, I'm going to be reading Lovely March, which is the... I guess I could call it the fourth chapter, because December was like the introduction and it was still a chapter, I don't know. Uh, let's just dive in. Good, I hit the right one. Lovely March, new game. Let's start reading. Oh cool, a new picture on the top screen. Who would forgive this intrusion? I, Kono Masaki, told, told myself as I paced to the floor. Alright, so we know who the narrator is in this chapter already, at least for now. I walked from aisle to aisle in the bookshop I was in. The bookshop in Tagami, the town I live in, was spacious simply because there was land to spare in the countryside. Unlike, for example, central New Jersey. I headed towards the academic section. There wasn't a particular reason, my, obje my objective was to keep moving. I took a book, flipped it open, and put it back. Then I repeated that several times. <sighs> I sighed for the umpteenth time. I knew I had no choice. But as the minutes passed, I found myself floundering, finding it harder and harder to complete my mission. What are you doing? What is this mission? The mission in the last in the last section was messy enough. Anyway, I stiffened my resolve again, and I headed towards the magazine section. Is this even acceptable? I asked. I asked myself in my head. I was be I was beginning to get irritated about the situation I was put in. There were a few students reading some magazines from the, off the rack labeled PC and digital. They were wearing the same uniform I was, but I didn't recognize them. I assumed they were either my seniors or my juniors, because with, with only two classes in each grade, I was familiar with uh, most of the faces of my peers. I was confused by the, uh, the first time that that line came up, there were only two classes in each grade. I thought, like, by classes he meant, um, like, math and, I don't know, English or something like that, but no, by classes he means, uh, like, the grade is partitioned into... I don't know. In elementary school, you would have had, like, Mrs. A and Mrs. B or something like that as, as the uh, teachers for the two elementary school teachers, but I take it he's, they're going for a meaning like that uh, when they say two classes in each grade. Anyway, moving on. So he was familiar with the faces of most of his peers. Reality, I muttered as I walked back and forth. Is merciless? No? I probably looked suspicious walking between the women's magazines and the men's magazines so many times. I have been doing this for close to five hours now. Why? Manager, look, it's that kid again. Shh. The security cameras are on, don't worry. Pretend you haven't noticed anything. It was too late to save my reputation now. But still, I had to do this. I made a sharp turn around the PC and digital rack and into the women's magazine corner. Reality is merciless, sure enough. I was the only boy standing there. I could hear the low buzz of the air conditioning overhead. Tagami Town was in a cooler region of Japan known, as, known for its heavy snow. In the winter, the temperature frequently dropped below zero, so naturally, um, all the ladies would gravitate towards the area under the air conditioning to warm themselves. Why? What? Sound the alarm! The whispers, their loud whispers and cold eyes were directed towards me. Women of all ages were staring at me, annoyed, wary, unwelcoming. It's not like you walked into a locker room or anything. I took a step forward. The eyes widened and their look changed from that of curiosity to that of curiosity and speculation. I was an invader now. I was stepping over the unseen border these women had made to mark their territory. I was trespassing into their land. I was rude, under it was rude, unconsiderate, and selfish of me. What is so bad about the magazine section? What happens when an, inv when an invader comes in? Often they come in with a purpose to take something away by force. Their defending side, the defending side, would have to try and resist our or comply. Whichever way, they gained nothing. The invader would either was... I am not reading this very well today. The invader would either end victorious or defeated. I was thinking all these unnecessary thoughts to distract myself from my predicament. How close would I even... How else... Close else... How else would I even survive this damn it? I should just stop reading today and come back another day because I just can't read today. Alright, I stopped before the shelf of my objective. Huh? The woman standing next to me gasped audibly, her face frozen in shock. She was reading a fashion magazine, one of Mizuho's favorites. I tore my eyes away from her. I knew what she must have thought. But I didn't say anything. I couldn't afford to do anything else than concentrate on my mission now. Yeah. I turned towards the shelf. I reached out for a book. I retracted my hand. I reached out, retracted, reached out, retracted, repeat. Why me? What was I supposed to do? I was on the brink of tears now, but I had no choice. I knew once I did this, there was no turning back. My fingers skimmed the glossy cover of the book again. This book is... Like... 
the answer to life, the universe, and everything? What is this? Just do it. I took a deep breath. I only had to grab and pull. You can do it, huh? Someone clapped me on the shoulder. It was the woman that was reading the fashion magazine. Instead of looking shocked, she was now smiling warmly at me. From what she wore, I surmised that she was an office lady of some sort. Am I amusing you? I ground out, openly, open, openly showing my distaste. No, she shook her head. Why are you looking at the shelf as if to say, I'm on your side, I understand, you don't have to say anything because it's obvious what you want to do. Please don't do that, I'm getting uncomfortable. I was going to rattle on, venting my frustration, but then suddenly I noticed a change in the atmosphere behind me. I turned around. Sooner or later, it's a path everybody walks through. Your heart's in the right place. More power to you, young man. Someday you'll be glad it happened. What is, what is the big deal about this book? I was beginning to get overwhelmed by a different sort of negative emotion. I quickly grabbed the book off the shelf, crushing the crisp cover in my fist. It read, Baby Zine, special feature, bringing up healthy kids. I could hear the joyous laughter coming from the men's section. This seems so far away now, and I sorely wished I could go back to the other side. However, what are you doing? The magazine was taken away from my hands. Yuki, what are you doing here? I was walking by when I saw you in here. You were being glared at, comforted, and then applauded by all the women around you, and I wondered what was going on. What did you do to these women? I went through all that because of you. Hmm? I don't see what you mean. Yuki Tawada was the only person wearing a kimono in the bookshop. For that reason alone, she, in she instantly attracted attention. A few steps behind her, I saw the manager of the bookshop on standby, ready to serve, waiting to serve. This scene depicted the power. The, this scene depicted the power of the Tawada family. It was impossible to be free of their influence if you were a resident of Tagami Town. What's more, the girl from this prestigious family, the girl from this prestigious family who I was. Was who I was dating. Okay. N not that it makes things any easier. What are you complaining about now? I'm complaining about the world. You're being absurd. Oh, I see you're trying to do your homework. Impressive. I think I've fallen for you all over again. I was gradually gaining a reputation of being Yuki Tawada's husband, and that, believe me, was not as nice as it sounded. It came with a lot of headaches. What? The significant other is the Princess of Tawada? You mean... He's the, one everyone, he's the one everyone's been talking about. That super two-timer. God killer Masaki Kono. What kind of gossip was circulating now? Lately, my consumption level of aspirin was becoming alarmingly high. It's all because of you. You're making no sense at all. She flipped a page. Yuki rarely changed her expression, so it was a gem when she actually smiled. I'm sure they grew up really fast. I can imagine how beautiful our children will be just by looking at these pictures. Are we really going there again? I swear, my consumption of aspirin is going to go alarmingly high in a minute. Um, on that page, on the page was what could be described as the world's youngest pinup model, a five-month-old baby girl looking at the camera with large, innocent eyes. Isn't she adorable, Yuki smiled. Not really. That is a telephone! Alright, I'm gonna have to jump off in a minute, and let's see if I can finish this section before that happens. Alright, where was I? Isn't she adorable? Not really. I wasn't impressed. I don't think the be- Hey! Yuki, stop stroking your belly like that! I'm imagining what our Yayako would look like now. A baby? What? Stop that! What would you name our Yayako? Yuki wasn't listening again, and I was getting desperate. For your information, Yayako meant baby in the local dialect. I don't think context clues are that difficult, narrator, writer, but whatever. Um, when I have her in my arms, how should I hold her? What should I say to her? How would I know? Who you're, refer what, who you're referring to isn't my baby. What, what would it have to do with me? How could you say that? You're going to hold her in gnome time. Are you going to buy that or not? I will. She didn't change her expression, but I could tell she was saddened. I don't know why, but it was easy to, for me to read Yuki's emotions, although everybody else seemed to find it difficult. I watched her walk towards the cashier in her red kimono. I'm sorry, I said under my breath so nobody could hear me. I know I'm being harsh, but I can't hope... I can't make you hope for something I can't promise. I dropped my shoulders. I didn't make... It didn't make me feel good to brush her away like that. Rejecting somebody hurt almost as much as attacking them. I was simply defending myself from Yuki's advances, but neither of us gained anything from it. I tried remembering who, who it was that made the quote, The world is generally aggressive. Before I knew it, I was standing in the women's section, depressed. 
For better or for worse, this was Yuki's influence. She affected me somehow in her fearless way of imposing herself on me. I was slowly but gradually getting invaded. Huh? I turned around. You asshole! Enemy of woman. They all get cold feet once the child goes gets close to delivery. Whose baby is it? My heart stopped for a moment. The warm, encouraging atmosphere had taken a turn and the air quickly turned icy cold. I was being surrounded by a group of very hostile women now. I could I could sense the men on the other side of the bookshelf scuttle away in an, in an, in an attempt to avoid collateral damage. They reminded me of mites of the premonition of danger, or some, or some politician's secretary just before a scandal broke out. Um, it's not really what you think. I could feel the weight of the murderous glares that shot me. You see, she wasn't referring to our child when she said we were going to hold her... He, we were going to hold her soon. Did you hear that? The woman looked around at each other and, their head, and shook their heads in disappointment. What a load of bull, they all said in chorus. As their, angle, as their anger began to boil, they slowly began to turn into monsters, or so I imagined. I noticed some other, I noticed some other women that initially weren't there to come in to join the group. All the males in the shop put on a demeanor that showed they didn't want anything to do with what was happening at all. I believe that it was their survival instinct. The group slowly closed in. In the, in the circle of their shadows, I could only see their eyes glinting. The air conditioning buzzed on. Ha! Ah, I decided to give myself up to fate. For some reason, I could laugh at myself. I should mention. Baby Zine, special feature, how to bring up healthy kids, included a mini booklet titled 10 Steps to Be a Better Dad. You can do it. My name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.